Please tell us your name and where you're from. Uh, my name is Masha. I'm from New York. And would you share with us your um, coming of Jesus story? Well, it's definitely because of my mother. We came to United States uh, in 2001, and she came to Jesus almost right away, but I did not want to do that. I didn't like the church. It was boring. But she kept praying for me. She kept talking to me about God. It seemed like every conversation we would have with her, even if it was about weather, she would somehow turn it in to <laughs> conversation about God. And it was the most annoying thing ever. And I'm so grateful to her that she did that. And so when and how did you come to know Christ? Well, uh, one day it, I decided to just start going to church because it was either working a full day and I didn't want that or going to church for half a day and then my mom would help me with a few hours of, <laughs> with the work. So that seemed like a better option, but <laughs> I started going to church and then something clicked. And two years after just going to church for no reason, I decided that I wanted to get baptized. And it seemed like it was a very, not just important thing, but a um, very serious thing that I, that I would have, in order to do that, I would have to give up my old way of life and just all the sin. I didn't want to do that, but I wanted to get baptized. So, and I got really scared that if I was going to keep doing what I'm doing after I get baptized, it's going to be worse. <laughs> Get baptized, you guys. So, um, what the difference that you have seen in your life since you're giving your life to Christ? Well, I have new friends. I moved out of New York. <laughs> so that's a big one. Just my mind has changed the way I think, the way... Um... Okay. And also, as a follower of Christ, um, what are your goals? What is your pursuit um, and the vision of this church and um, in general as well? Well, like Mariana mentioned, this is the most important thing, I think, is to evangelize, to keep telling people about God and don't be afraid of being rejected. Maybe that word that you're going to share is going to click with them and they're going to come to Christ. Maybe that one testimony, that one word might make a difference in their life. Also, um, as you have mentioned that, it was your mom that had been praying for you for so long for your salvation. What would you advise people that have children that are not serving God or even friends? What would you advise them tonight? Um, the, keep praying for them and keep talking to them about God. Even if they think that you're annoying, if, if they don't like you, and just, <laughs> just keep doing that. It works.